Hey everybody, it's your girl Tanya with Books and Brown Liquor. Thank you for tuning in to another chapter. This video is my book review of Insomnia by Sarah Henbro. Okay? Insomnia by Sarah Henbro. Now let me tell you about this book. I really, 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 really enjoyed this book. And I really love this author, Sarah Penbrell. Now, for those of you that don't know, Sarah Penbrell wrote Behind Her Eyes a few years back. And a few years back, I did a book review on that. I loved that book. That was one of my favorite psychological thrillers, right? I'm not going to get into Behind Her Eyes, but all I'm saying is they made a Netflix special and the Netflix special pretty much stood in sync with the book. So I enjoyed that as well. What I love about Sarah Penbrough is not only is her writing good, but she is brave enough to tackle concepts that a lot of writers don't talk about. Okay. So for example, in Behind Her Eyes, this is, I got to say, this is probably the first book I ever read about astral projection. Astral projection is when your consciousness or your spirit can leave your body. And that's all I'm going to say. So in this book, Insomnia, uh, she tackles another concept. The thing is, you don't really figure out what it is right away. I'm not going to say what that concept is because I'm not going to give it away. But at first, the story follows a woman who is, it's a few, it's right before her 40th birthday. Our main character, her mother, when her mother turned 40, her mother lost her mind. She committed this psychotic act that like landed her in the loony bin, so to speak. So she's afraid that when she turns 40, she's going to follow in her mother's footsteps. So she's dreading turning 40 years old. This woman is married. She has two healthy children and she's an attorney. So she's making money. She's got the, the husband, the house, the family, the car, the career. She's got it all. But for some reason, as she, the days that lead up to her 40th birthday, she starts experiencing some things going on in her life. She starts having these visions, dreams. She just has this, this dread that consumes her life, this dread about turning 40 because she doesn't want to end up like her mother. So again, Sarah Penbrough tackles different concepts that uh, a lot of writers don't really talk about. And uh, at first the book starts off a little slow and I'm like, whatever. But what I will say is uh, Sarah Penbro, she does a good job of like setting the tone, setting the tone and kind of leading you into this one direction. And then as the story unfolds and you learn more about her mother and you learn more about uh, different events that took place uh, before her mother committed this psychotic act, I'm not going to get into it. But when you get to the end and you discover what's really going on with our character and the people around her, it comes together like a perfect puzzle. So when you're first reading this book, I'm like, okay, look, bitch, you're turning 40, like big fucking deal. Like, what is the problem? But then when you really understand what's going on, you're like, oh, the revelation. I love a book with a good revelation. Like you're, you're confused. You're reading all these things. Is this bitch crazy? Did she do it? Did she not do it? What the fuck? And then when the revelation comes, you're like, oh, I see. Sarah Penborough is, I will say she is a master at the revelation. Well, Lisa Jewell's good too, but in this book, this book got me. This book got me. Cause even I was starting to think, is this bitch crazy? Maybe she is great. Like, you know, but the revolution, the revelation, not the revolution, <laughs> the revelation explains it all. And what, by the time I closed this book, I was like, Sarah Pemberall does it again. So 
When you see mixed reviews on Goodreads or Amazon or people saying, I didn't really like this book, you got to read stuff for yourself. You, you got to read stuff for yourself because I was, I had mixed feelings. This book, I kind of overpassed it quite a few times because I saw the reviews were not so good. Do not be falling for other people's reviews. Shit, even mine, okay? <sighs> when other people say something is weird or something is kooky, don't fall for that shit because there were people that said they didn't like Behind Her Eyes. And that was one of my favorite books. So I'm just saying, read stuff for yourself and come to your own conclusion. Because I was skeptical about this book. And in the end, in the end, I loved it. And then the very, very end, there's like a little, um, a little shout out to a previous character from a previous book. So I love when authors do that. When I love when authors keep uh, everything in the same universe. And if you follow certain authors, you, you'll see that. Like Stephen King is good for that. A lot of things take place in Castle Rock, Maine. And they'd be doing shout outs to previous characters in previous books. So she kind of does a little shout out in the end. I'm like, oh, look at her. Anyway, if you're a Sarah Penbrill fan, you know what I mean. And then if you didn't like the book, you didn't like the book and you like, fuck it, kick rocks. That's cool too. Anyway, I love this book. I love this book. I love the storytelling. I love the buildup and the atmosphere where like you really feel like this woman is losing her shit. And, uh, it's worth it. it. It's a it's a it's a good ride for me. It's a good ride. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. This is definitely four and a half stars for me. I feel Sarah Penborough does it again. And whatever she writes next, I'm there for it. Period. So anyway, thank you for watching. That concludes my uh, book review of Insomnia by Sarah Penborough. Yep, she got that sauce.